Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. It is just about five o'clock. Peter's been working hard all day long. I'm hungry. Um, and I think I'm gonna have some chips and salsa and just fry up a bunch of veggies, put it over rice and call it dinner. I was FaceTiming my little sister earlier and she made that and it made me hungry. I'm gonna put some beans in there. Just basically just put all the veggies I can in a pan and that's that. I just hope that once Peter's done with work, the rest of the day can be uphill because we've kind of been just like laying low, quiet day today. So hopefully our energy and joy picks up um, with the help of some food. We are trying this Willie's salsa from Publix. Does anybody else get like mild and medium mixed up? Like which one is spicier? A little live taste test. That tastes fresh, not super spicy. I think mild is more mild than medium. I always forget, which is it? I'm gonna ask Alexa. Okay, I broke out medium, definitely spicier. So I added some oil, a potato, and garlic. Half an onion, plus some salt and pepper. One zucchini, one green pepper, one red pepper, one large jalapeno, just a bunch of cauliflower, one can of black beans, and some serious Spinach. So I didn't really put much spunk into this, just salt, pepper, and garlic. And so I set aside half that we're gonna use in more um, like a pasta dish tomorrow with leftover red sauce that we've had frozen since Easter. Cause I didn't wanna like get it too jazzy if they're gonna be like different style meals. So now I'm just gonna add some cumin. Oh. Alexa, stop. Um, our rice is ready and some lime juice and then we're gonna just put whatever hot sauce or extras we want i think peter's gonna have it on rice and i think i'm gonna have it in tortillas hey my name is peter i think it's the first time i found I'm wait i just walk. gotta show this real quick that looks divine i'm a little nervous because i'm not a big vegetable person even though i'm plant-based um but I think I just spunked it up enough and I'm gonna add a little bit more lime juice. This has happened before, but my Tuesday was like the worst Monday ever. Oh. I'm perturbed at my, what happened at work today. Oh, that was tasty. I'm actually done, I'm gonna try to reserve. I had a big first plate, but I'm, it's, I'm limiting it with that because I need to drink more water. Cause I'm gonna try to go on a run later, but it's hot today, it's 90 right now, it's past six, I think. So I'm hoping it gets down to hopefully 80 or 81 around 10 o'clock tonight and I'll go for a run. Then I have to make the call, Sarah. We gotta make the call on this four by four by 48. Did we mention that in the vlog yesterday? No. All right, we'll talk about the four by four by 48 later today. She's outside, smelling the fresh air. It's actually pretty nice out. I'm gonna go on my run in the next hour and a half, I think. It's supposed to, I think it's, I'm hopeful it's gonna drop in like five to 10 degrees in the next hour and a half. So hopefully it'll be a more enjoyable run than I anticipated. Ooh, the ground's hot. I don't have shoes on. That's how toasty it was today. You so happy? I'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk before we finish Captain America, Winter Soldier. Come on, let's go. Help the stepsisters with their dresses. When she was done, the stepmother said, it is time to go to the ball, girls. Are you ready, Cinderella? No, said Cinderella sadly. That is Sarah reading Violet, a bedtime story. Um, Captain America Winter Soldier, so good. It was the first time I think I've actually seen that one. Um, but I've definitely seen the post credit scene. Crazy. I just can't wait to get the, uh, the next Avengers, Age of Ultron, because I haven't seen that one, and I think it's supposed to be a really good one. Eve's sneaking in. Come on in. We can't make too much noise while they're eating. Come on in. 
So I don't know if we actually told you guys, but during that whole Disney trivia with the American Cancer Society, we actually were tied for second as well, but they didn't realize until they were recounting things the next day. So our friend Jenna, who was in charge of that, um, still sent us a little package. I don't. Maybe Sarah talked about it, but she didn't have to. But these are cool because like all of my ACS stuff is like, besides my hats, are like only wear during running, except for that one sweatshirt. But it's how often do you wear a sweatshirt down in Florida? But these are cool because they're actually just T-shirts, not to wear during running, and they're like boom, American Cancer Society in your face. So here, oh, there's a crucial point happening in the story. Bibbidi Bobby Boo. Um, yellow shirts front, American, big old American Cancer Society. Backside hashtag attacking cancer. Pretty cool. Thank you so much, Jenna, and the rest of ACS. I just knocked into all this stuff. Oops. Also, a huge thank you to everybody who donated to our our cancer or American Cancer Society page today, because today was Giving Tuesday. Now, um, in honor of um, charities of all kinds, but today was specifically about charities that are doing things involved with COVID nineteen, and we don't talk about it. I think a whole lot, but. ACS still needs funds during COVID-19. People are still fighting cancer, and they've converted a lot of their Hope Lodges, which typically are used for people who are traveling or family that are traveling to treatment facilities, um, but they're now being converted to being used for like frontline healthcare workers so they don't have to risk bringing the infection home during these times. Um, so I think we raised like 90 bucks today across the board for um, Giving Tuesday, so thank you so much. You guys are the best. And I'm just like dragging my feet to go on a run because I'm planning a pretty outrageous challenge for this weekend and I'm kind of using it as an excuse not to run, but I have to look at the calendar. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do that right now because maybe I won't run tonight and I'll run tomorrow to prep for the weekend. Hello. So, it's 10 o'clock. Just got a little bit hungry, so we're gonna have some strawberries. Um, I'm looking at car seats and strollers and that kind of fun stuff. And Peter's gonna be a little, little chef over there. Little prepper. Here's my little setup. I'm gonna chop up some strawberries and I have this little dish for Eve so she can have a couple. Um, we got some of my running videos on before we finish the ECS book in a little bit. But I just decided I'm gonna do a challenge called the, it's by David Goggins, who's like, okay, let me well, get Eve her <laughs> strawberries first. That is a honkin' strawberry. All right, so Sarah and I just decided on the fine print of a running challenge I'm gonna get, going to begin on Thursday afternoon and it'll end Saturday afternoon. Yeah, Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm doing it just because it seems super fun and super challenging and that mentality is like to do something that gets you out of your comfort zone. We'll link the Billy Yang three minute video down below. I highly suggest watching it. It'll give more details, but essentially, Are you finally, telling? finally telling the vlog what's going on. I just want to show two little clips from the video, but we'll link it down below. There you go, nobody works like David in this house. I'm sure by now all of you guys have heard of David Goggins. The guy is just toughness personified. I came across this video from David Coggins from back in March. Every year I do this challenge where I run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. If you can't run four miles, walk. If you can't walk, ride your bike, can't ride your bike, do some push-ups, some sit-ups, some calisthenics. It takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. So to set aside that time every single four hours. So why am I doing it? Life's all about getting outside your comfort zone. Strengthen your mind, callous in your mind, arm in your mind. You take this 48 hours and you can put this in your cookie jar. Yeah, sounds like an awful idea. Let's do it. So that's what it is. It's so like David Goggins the, like created, created this, but Bill Yang is going to do it Thursday starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So Thursday to Saturday. I'm changing mine to 6 p.m. Eastern is when I'm going to start on Thursday because of our curfew here in Orange County. I thought about, about being a little crazy and running out of Orange County into one of the neighboring counties and running then, but th like technically you're not even supposed to get in your car and drive once curfew starts unless you're going to or from work or the hospital. 
So instead of that, I am only going to, I'm not going to run 48 miles. I'm going to run 40 miles with two 40 minute workouts. So I'm going to start at 6 p.m. on Thursday, run at 10 p.m. Thursday, four miles each, 10 p.m. Thursday, at 2 a.m. do a 40 minute workout, at 6 a.m. run, 10 a.m. on Friday run, 2 p.m. on Friday run, 6 p.m. on Friday run, 10 p.m. on Friday run, 2 a.m. Saturday workout video, 6 a.m. and repeat that until the 6 p.m. until I go out on at the 6 p.m. on Saturday and run the last 40, four miles of the 40. So I, I'm just doing this to challenge myself. Um, I saw this video yesterday and you, Sarah can vouch for me. I just like lost it. I was like, I want to do this. This is, I know it's going to be hard. Um, I believe I can complete it. I think I can, you know, um, you definitely can. Th if you think about it, the, when you look at the dopey challenge, the half and tent, the half and full are 39 miles on a and Friday and Saturday. And those, Right, but the sleep deprivation will add up because you're not getting a full night's sleep at all because if I run at 10 p.m., I'm going to be back at like 10.45-ish and then I have to go and do my workout video at 2 a.m., so that's only three hours later, really. That's what. So that, like, it's it's getting out of your comfort zone um, and just for fun, I'm doing it regardless, not has to do with ACS or anything like that, but I think it's a great opportunity because it's called the 4x4x48 challenge. Um to ask people to donate four dollars or forty eight dollars or four dollars forty dollars um since i'm going to run the 40 miles but we just decided this it begins at 6 p.m on thursday the crusty crab pizza is the pizza papa. what are we sending right now the booklet we're sending our first draft of the booklet that this amazing designer made for us next step is just going through once it's drafts. like approved and stuff we'll be able to show you guys yes but we, we need to go through have them approve it and add any changes look for a high res photo or two but we can start working on the video aspect of this too yes. super what exciting. A wonderful thing sarah just tortured me why for something i despise but she loves <laughs> So we just cleaned up our two shared emails that we have for the Fab Five Two O Seven and the Brooker Project emails. So much is still in Fab Five Two O Seven. It's kind of know. humorous, but. Well, we cleaned up the Brooker Project one. Yeah, and I'm gonna lot. keep up to date. If you've messaged us and we haven't responded, there's about it's all my five fault. messages. Yeah. It's just, I it's say this in other social medias that we share. It's really hard because when you open something, then the notification goes away from the other person, and so. But it's like, but it's mostly my job to respond, so I should be more on the lookout. But we're ready to get back in action. But I want to go to Disney World. Yeah. All right. Daily message. Sometimes the questions are complicated and the answers are simple. Dr. Seuss. What? I can also eat some trail mix. Yeah. Um. I'm hungry. Having a little. She's having a little snack before we go to bed. I used to have one every day when I was a little kid and it was called a snack before bed. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>